part of the problem of, of drug factions in the favela is that they, they, are, uh, they provide identity for the young people. So if you're in a favela that comes, uh, that is controlled by the commander of Amelio, that uh, even if you have nothing to do with the faction yourself, your identity is in part defined by the fact that the favela you come from is controlled by the commander of Amelio. So the number of times you talk to young people, and what I, I found you know, fascinating and terrifying is, if you say you say to a kid, how are you going to get from point A to point B in the city of Rio? Um, and he won't, uh, he won't even, in the map in his head, he won't ever have a straight line. Because he's like, I'm from a commander of Amelia Favela, therefore I have to walk here, and I go down here. And so his, his uh, psychogeography is totally influenced by his position, not because he's in the commander of Amelia, but because he comes from a favela that is controlled by the commander of Amelia. You come into Afro Reggae, and sure, they, they pay you a salary, um, but they don't, you know, they can't, uh, they can't necessarily compete uh, with the uh, with the kind of money that uh, the, the 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 dealers can can earn, particularly if they move up. You know, I mean, depending on which which favela they're working in and which uh, and the, the 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 infrastructure of that, the the the, the drug gangs are very well structured, um, but because there's a high turnover because so many of them are killed, you can move up the ladder uh, pretty quickly, um, and of course what you're doing is you're burning your life because you know, within, in a very short space of time, you can no longer leave the favela that you come from. Perhaps you even find it hard to move around that favela. You have to walk with, you know, carrying a gun at all times. You know that the cops know who you are. As soon as you leave the favela, you're going to get, if you're not shot by a rival faction, you're going to be shot by the police. Um, but what, what, what you've also got, you, you've Im immersed yourself in a world um, and it's a world where you're always scared, where you're always living on your wits, uh, where you can't trust anybody, um, and yet you have these sort of very close relationships with the other gangsters that you work with. And it can be a very difficult thing to give up. Uh, when the, the guys from Afro Reggae come here and talk to kids in London who are from some of the kind of most roughneck neighbourhoods in London about gun crime and say to them, you don't know anything about gun crime, they're right.